Hey there, I'm Pinkie Pie. My friend Shire told me you guys were learning about nutrition, so I decided I would help by sharing a story. Hi, Doc. Ah, Pinky, I told you not to do that. Sorry, Medic, but I feel really sick. Okay, come with me. So tell me, Pinky, when did you start doing this? Well, you see, we were having a party for Derby when I ate my seventh slice of cake, and I just felt really sick. I see, and have you been eating other types of foods, too? Well, no. <sighs> Pinky, you can't just have fats and sugars and nothing else. You need a balanced diet or you will get more sick. I know. But I love fatty foods so much. Well, you see, Pinky, fat is good when taken in small amounts. It should be 20 to 35% of your daily intake. Fat helps to store energy for later. So, so this means that I can eat a lot of cake? No, you need a balanced diet of fats, proteins, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, and water. Oh, oh, I know. We need 2.6 liters of water a day because it helps protect our muscles and tissues and helps our body temperature. And helps us. Very good. You already know about the fats, so let's move on to protein. I remember Twilight telling me about this. Pinky, are you listening? Yep, you told me that proteins are building blocks. Yeah, and they're needed for many other things too. They should be 12 to 15% of daily intake. You said that they form a lot of our muscles and tissues, as well as hormones and enzymes. They also move nutrients around and fight off foreign substances. But most importantly, Pinky, they provide energy. We can't make the proteins ourselves, can we? No, our bodies make some of them. But many are obtained from the food that we eat. Okie dokie loki! Good, then let's move on to one of the more important essential nutrients, carbohydrates. Is that the one that gives us energy? Yeah, carbohydrates are responsible for providing energy. And they are mainly from plant food sources, like fruits and vegetables. Simple carbs, which are sugars. What are they for? They contain glucose, which is commonly known as blood sugar, and is used for instant energy. Whee! How did you get there so fast? Starches and fibers, the complex carbs, contain glycogen, which is stored away energy to be used when needed, and they're slower to digest. Oh, okay. That's why I can party so much. So what do vitamins and minerals do? You have to stop doing that. Minerals such as iron, calcium, and phosphorus help us maintain strong bones and teeth, which is very important to us. And what about vitamins? There are two types, fat soluble, which mainly do the same things as minerals, and water soluble, which help with the formation of red blood cells and releasing energy from carbs. Okay, thank you for helping me, medic. I pinky promise to eat healthy now. You should start feeling better soon. Stay there until you are not sick anymore. Nurse, send in the next patient. Ah, heavy, my old friend. What can I do for you? Well, Doctor, I was eating sandwich when I thought of how this thing goes through my body. Well, then to answer your question, Heavy, on to the digestive system. Very well. Even before you eat sandwich, your mouth produces saliva to help you chew and swallow. Your chewing will help soften the food and an enzyme called amylase helps form the bolus. This is what goes down your esophagus. The epiglottis stops the food from going down the trachea. That is the pipe leading to your lungs. Then comes the cardiac sphincter. It stops the food from going from the stomach to the esophagus. The stomach adds enzymes to break down the food, and the liver takes care of the toxins. As the food leaves the stomach, it is a thick fluid called chyme. The pancreas further breaks down the food into smaller molecules. The pyloric sphincter then allows for the passage from stomach to small intestine. The small intestine has enzymes which digest all of the energy nutrients. The three parts of the small intestine are the duodenum, where most of the digestion happens, then the duodenum, where nutrients are absorbed, and the ileum, which is the same as the duodenum. Afterwards, the food goes into the large intestine through the allocule valve. The large intestine then compacts the material into what? Into One sec. You have to stop doing that. Into feces. Anyways, once the feces has been made, it is moved to the rectum, where it is stored until excreted to the anus. The whole process of breaking down food is called metabolism. Through chemical changes, food is converted into energy. And sandwich make me strong. There are two parts to it. 
Anabolism is when energy is stored. So you can party later. And catabolism, when carbs are broken down for energy. Then it's coward killing time! Thank you, medic, for the info. Yes, I love this doctor. And that's my story. Bye, everyone!